Looking at this thumbnail sketch in marker, which is going to be for a larger charcoal drawing, what I love about this composition is this just huge movement that starts in the lower left-hand corner, goes all the way up to the upper right-hand corner, and how dramatically it changes. So in the beginning, that lower left corner, it's so dark and mangled, and I know it's supposed to represent anxiety, and then the way the composition just opens up into that upper right-hand corner is a really wonderful overall gesture for the entire composition. What I would think about is scale in terms of the scale of the dark ropes and the tree. Right now, the dark ropes are definitely a lot bigger and you notice them first. But think about if that tree was, let's say, a lot smaller and you made the dark ropes even bigger, that changes the relationship. Right now, I sort of feel like it's half and half between the two. The dark ropes are more dominant, I think, largely because of the tone of the value. But scale is very important, so I would really play around with that. Or maybe it's the opposite. Maybe the dark ropes are smaller, but they're somehow more powerful in terms of what they're doing with the tree. You can add more ropes that are coming off. I think it'd be very interesting to see the branches that are really being destroyed, have a bunch that look like they've snapped, or sometimes if you look at a tree, the way it's sort of torn open, seeing the interior of those branches would be really great to see. I see the tree really resisting those dark ropes, but I think what needs to change is the gesture of the trunk. Because right now there's a lot of emphasis on the individual branches, and the tree trunk, it looks sort of comfortable, like it's sort of hanging out there. And if the destination of this tree is truly that upper right-hand corner, I mean, maybe it's a tree that just has a slight arch, like it's almost bending over, or maybe it's pushing and stretching. Because you've got the branches, which are really helpful, but the trunk is the most critical part of that gesture. I would also think about the width of the rope. Because if you have rope that looks very thin, that's super different than if you have very large scale or overwhelming ropes. I think that will be important to consider because it will make the anxiety feel more muscular if you have large, wide, bulbous ropes. Whereas if you say have something that looks like thread, that's a very different type of aggression. My feeling is I do want it to look more muscular. And then you can play that off of the thinness of some of those branches. So we really feel the fragility of that tree straining to push itself upwards.